in when we just read about it as stories then we're gonna miss the implication of how that is applicable to our lives today right when i just read about a story so one of the stories that i was telling you about saw and jacob and if you don't interpret this as these these people are representative the people in the story are representative of states okay like states of being right rachel the mom was filled with fear about what was going to happen to well it was disguised i believe as what was going to happen to her son her favorite son because her husband was close to dying but actually i think that she was really worried about herself because she wouldn't have had status in in that day and time without a male uh figure from her home uh without a male blood relative to to stick up for her so i believe that she was doing that to help her son actually help her right but these are representative of states of being that we will come into contact with so look at what was happening with jacob one interaction with his mom representing the state of worry this state of manipulation this state of uh, if it's going to happen i have to make it happen um god couldn't come in and make it happen you know god gave me the word but it was up to me to make it happen which was that uh type of belief what was happening there right and then esau of course being the state of making a ton of unwise decisions leading up to this and then that causing bitterness and aggression towards other people, right? Instead of taking accountability or responsibility of saying, nope, I sold my birthright once, right? I'm not, and and that was on me. He's blaming this entire situation with the blessing as well on his brother, letting aggression and anger overtake him literally into the spirit of murder. The, the, when we don't interpret this story as as applicable because these people are representing states of being we're gonna miss the whole story and just think about oh that was a nice story that somebody included from a long time ago in this book and we're missing the way that it gets applied to us right all around us sometimes we find we can find ourselves being in this position where you know so and so hates me so and so's trying to manipulate me but i don't have a better option i only have to do You know, I have to do what they're saying to me, which is exactly what Jacob was was doing. And by the way, when he did that, he didn't even get the opportunity to um, use or enjoy his inheritance, the the blessing that he just got blessed with. He didn't because he had to go on the run. Right. He ended up doing 14 years of very hard labor for his uncle. There is no such thing as closed doors. Okay. There's no such thing as a closed door that that, if there is a closed door in your life, that is now a hallway leading you to the right door. So instead of trying to, if imagine you're in a hallway, you wouldn't be banging on the wall like, oh, eventually this wall will turn into a door keep going until you find your door and that's that type of um that type of type of belief system will keep you stay staying in the middle of the hallway instead of pro- progressing these states of being remember these people around you are representative of the state that they want to pull you into some people are trying to pull you into success and prosperity and true identity and some people are trying to pull you into that state of confusion that state of disbelief that state of uh uh, scheming if we don't have a plan it's easy to get sidetracked into somebody else's state of being and just assume well that's the state of being that i was given that's the one i had to go with and it's not true right even even being able to determine things like that between what is um what is of the lord and what isn't that's that should be very obvious but in these moments when you don't have a plan you don't know what you're doing you don't know where we're going then it's very easy to just get sidetracked lose sight of what we're supposed to be doing it's a good indicator that we need to go back to the foundation and that's really what i want to do the meditation on so if everybody could just close their eyes 